One of the first ever trail running shoes to feature a carbon plate within the midsole, a shoe that supposedly significantly reduces compounding impact downhill, and that has already been worn for 16 records around the world before even hitting the market. What I have here is the brand new Flight Vective from the North Face. As part of Outdoors Magic's Envision series, we've been profiling some of the most exciting gear releases to come over the next 12 months. This one's actually just landed and we're pretty sure it's gonna make some big waves in the outdoor world. It's a result of two years of R&D and 6,000 miles of athlete testing. You might have heard about Pau Capel's solo attempt at the UTMB, laying down a super fast time of 21 hours, 17 minutes and 18 seconds. Well, he had the flight vective on his feet. Before I go into the details here, just take a look at that. Can you see that curve there? There's a huge rocker here, meaning you'll really feel the flight vective is propelling you along the trail. Then there's the 3D vective plate, basically a layer of lightweight carbon that sits above the cushioning in the midsole to provide stability over uneven trails. It also adds to that propulsion I mentioned as well. The leading running brands have been using carbon plating in their road racing shoes over the past few years. This, however, is one of the first examples of it being featured in a trail shoe and being positioned immediately under the foot. So this is actually pretty groundbreaking stuff here. According to the North Face's studies, the Flight Vective is able to reduce downhill tibial impact in the shins by up to 10%. For anyone taking on big mileage in these, that 10% could be crucial. And you can see the depth in the midsole under the heel as well. Over the last few months, I've been trying out a pair of these over a mix of hard and soft trails and on road as well. And I've really noticed the shock absorption you get, but you also still get a nice bit of proprioception at the ball of the foot too. The offset in height from heel to toe is six millimeters, so pretty much in the middle ground there. And the grip, the North Face say they've made this for all kinds of terrain, be that dry tracks or muddy trails. As you can see, the lugs are fairly deep at 3.5 millimeters, but they're multi-directional as well, helping you keep that 360 degree traction. There's plenty to talk about with the upper as well. This panel here is a weave made from a polyamide and Kevlar, same material used in bulletproof vests. Then around the toes, you've got a comfortable stretchy knit to keep that essential airflow. Weight is 288 grams for a UK men's size eight. Women's size six comes in at 247 grams. Retail price over on the North Face website is 180 pounds. At the moment, it comes in this white colorway, admittedly not ideal for muddy UK mountains, but there is also a sulfur spring green too. You can probably expect more colorways to be rolled out in the future as well. As I said, I've been testing these out a fair bit over the last few months and I'll be publishing a more detailed review over on outdoorsmagic.com over the next week or so. I'll stick a link down below when that's live. What I will say now though, is that these things certainly feel very, very fast, but they still bring that sure-footedness that you'd want on technical trails.